Okay, let's take a look at how we can use the X and I via developer edition to create your own interactive voice response systems. Once you've successfully installed X and Ivia, you'll find an icon on your desktop. Double click on the icon. You'll notice that the X and Ivia developer edition comes up. You have a simulated phone on the screen. This is the phone that you'll be using to access the Ivia. You'll also find a dialog that gives you the version number and the release date of the developer edition. Click on the OK button. Right. Now you're ready to begin using the developer edition. Let's actually run through the default script that is present. You'll notice here on the devices window, you will notice that uh, a title that says Action IVR Developer Mode, and you will find the IVR script that is currently running. That's bank.ivr. That is a telebanking uh, example script that is present. Let's try running that. Okay, how do you access the IVR? Click on the handset of the simulated phone. Welcome to Lotus Bank's IVR service. Please punch in your account number after pressing the star key. Okay, let's try 1111. Please enter your PIN number. Okay, the PIN is 1234. Your account balance is 25,000. That is it. We have just heard a basic telebanking system that has been implemented using the IVR. Now, you would want to know exactly where the script is or how you can access the script. To do that, click on the source window that appears on the simulated phone. You will notice that a window pops up that contains the source code the script. This is your debugging window. You have buttons here that can allow you to single step through the IVR, give some basic help, change the script that is currently running and also edit the script. Okay, let's edit the script. The one method is to click on the button here or you can simply double click on the script. This is the basic editor that we have. Using this, you can actually write your own IVR scripts. You can create new IVR scripts. Right now, you're looking at the telebanking example. Uh, you have database capability. You'll notice that the bank balance MDB is being accessed here. Uh, and uh, database lookup is being done and that is being played back. You'll notice our indigenous number to wave being used here. Okay, so this is where the script is available. You can close the window by clicking on the close. And you want to see the variables that are being executed by the script, click on the variables button. We have, uh, right now we have uh, three basic types of variables here. One is the system variables, which are internal variables used by the script. Second is the general variables. These are variables that are defined in your script. And the third one is basically a database variable, which has been used to access databases. Okay, so this is how you access your script. This is how you play back your script. Uh, you will find a couple of buttons on the devices window. This button essentially disables the IVR. If you have 30 lines of IVR, all 30 lines are disabled. Click it once more to enable the IVR. The button here gives you the logs of the current script. You have a log command. Also, certain commands are, certain, uh, commands are automatically logged. For example, uh, your uh, answer call and hang up call are automatically logged to a script. Click on this to open the log window. You'll find an answer call, hang up call, etc. And a starting IVR, ending IVR. Okay. The third button is left for your use. You can actually add any exe file you wish to this particular icon. One example could be a graphing application that you write that would show you a graph based on the uh, logs that you have created. This bitmap here can be customized to your requirements. Right now, it, click on it to show you the about box. The about contents of the about box can also be customized. Okay, we have taken a look at the basic capabilities of the developer edition. We have seen how you can run a script. We have seen how you can change to a different script. And we have taken a look at the different windows that are available.